let's get to it this is going to be a good video i think and i'm excited to get started let's do this so the medium of choice for the day is a recently used whiskey bottle you're going to take acetone which is basically nail polish remover or alcohol wipe down the bottle I picked some uh, pictures, copied them to give me inspiration and to possibly use on the project. A couple of pictures of Johnny Cash and a guitar. I chose this picture, cut the extra excess border off the outer edges, and then took a cigarette lighter and burned the edges to give it an old antique kind of look. Placed the picture facing inward, tested it for fit, then you spread Mod Podge all over the area of the bottle that you want to stick the picture onto, lay it in place carefully, and then you're going to massage the picture to get the air bubbles from underneath and make sure you get good adhesion. Once the picture's in place, you're going to coat the outside of the picture as well with Mod Podge. And once it's moistened, you can massage the, the photograph a little more just to make sure that everything is uh, adhered. Wipe the excess glue off. And once that dries, You're then going to take white acrylic paint and a sponge and coat the entire bottle with the white paint. Try to get good coverage all the way around, except for the front of the bottle where the viewing is going to take place. After the paint sets up just a little bit, you can wipe the excess off to give you a clean edge on each side of the viewing window. I took a piece of burlap earlier and cut it to the width and length of the bottle to get an entire wrap around the bottle itself and then I cut out the size of the sight window that I wanted. I'm just checking it to make sure it's going to fit and then I'm going to lay it to the side for now. You're then going to take tissue paper, any color, and you're going to mark it to the proper width and length. Cut it. And then we're going to uh, Mod Podge it onto the outer surface. Use a nice heavy coat of Mod Podge. Start on one side. Stick it to the bottle and then work your way around. Easy peasy. Once that sticks and sets up for just a few minutes, you're going to coat the entire outside of this with Mod Podge as well. It gives it a hard shell and a good surface for the other medium that we're going to use. Go get something to drink and watch the squirrels while this dries. Once that sets up, I coated the entire bottle with white paint one more time over the tissue paper. You don't have to do that, I just chose to. And now we're going to put the burlap on. Once 
we're just building layers here. You're gonna coat the entire outside of the bottle again. I choose to do only the front facing part of the bottle and the two adjoining sides. And then I'm gonna let that set up completely before I do the back side, just so you're not making a mess. You're gonna push the burlap into the glue and get the glue to come through if possible. And you're gonna coat the outside of the burlap as well. You want complete penetration and good adhesion. Once the front face of the bottle and the two sides set up, now it's time to do the back side. Coat it with glue and stretch the burlap. Try to lay it nice and tight on there. And go through the same exact process. Massage the glue into the burlap. I finally decided to go ahead and put on a pair of rubber gloves for this so that I could massage the glue in without making a huge mess. You want that seam to close up nice and tight and it's okay if it overlaps the other one just a little bit because we're going to be using clay in a minute. I cut a piece of cardboard that looks like a little picture frame. That's the exact proportions of the sight glass that I want. You roll out your clay to approximately an eighth inch thickness. Thin is good. You get your measurements again. Width, length. Cut that out. Cut the sight window opening out. And then take a test run and see how this is going to look. This clay is very easy to manipulate, so if it looks like it's sagging or going to be too big, don't even worry about it. Coat the burlap again with Mod Podge. Lay the clay on. And start pushing it into the burlap. You can add a little pressure, just don't get crazy with it. Once you get the face on, work your way around to each side. Press it into place. Then I usually dip my fingers in water and massage the clay around. You can make it look as rough or smooth as you desire. The next day after that set up, it's time to start on the back side. And I also cut in or pressed in some little dimples around the edges of the clay that you can see there. That'll come into play in a little bit. Same process. Spread your clay. Get the measurements you want. Cut it out. Give it a test fit. that's going to work. Let's get some glue on this. I wanted it to have a seam on both sides of the bottle because 
I want it to look like somebody had pieced this together and sewed it onto this. And once I got it on there, once again, dip your fingers in water, smooth everything out the way you like. And we're gonna let this dry again. While we're waiting, let's make some laces for this thing. Spread out a noodle of clay, use your little roller and flatten it out. And cut these pieces to your desired width and length. Everybody knows what a leather shoelace looks like. And then I'm going to spread my Mod Podge where I made those dimples. And my Mod Podge is kind of a gray color. I accidentally got a little bit of paint in there. It's not a big deal. All right, here we go. We're going to make some laces. All right, that didn't take long. Once all that sets up and dries, this is what you're left with, and that is gonna look really good once we get the paint on there. That's gonna add a lot of contrast to this piece. Now let's do the cap. Get some measurements. Same process again. Roll out your clay. Here I'm using a can of Pam as a roller. Transfer your length and width measurements onto the clay and cut it. Slap on the old Mod Podge. And start putting this baby on there. This is going to be a little precarious because of the dimensions of the bottle and the way they curve. But once again, this clay is really easy to manipulate and it's so amazing how realistic you can make this look. It looks just like leather. Take your time on this. God's in the details. I want this to look like that's puckered at the top where I can tie a rope around it or something to make it look like it is drawn up on there. This is really coming together nicely. That's looking so good. And there's what you're left with. Isn't that amazing? Let this baby dry. I purposely cut the seam for this crooked. And I think that's gonna add some really neat contrast to the piece as well. This is how it turned out once it was dry. That looks fantastic. I super glued a piece of rope around the bottom there to make it stay in place. And now I'm coating the neck of this bottle with Mod Podge and I'm gonna spin that rope around and around all the way up to the cap. I had some of my footage corrupted. I painted the first coat a medium brown, went back over it with a darker color and a dry brush effect, and it's really starting to come together. That looks so much like leather. I was really pleased with the way that turned out. I apologize I didn't get to capture that.
Now we're going to put a personal stamp on the bottom. I purposely stamp my initials and I number each one of the pieces I make. I made a silicone mold and an old piece of jewelry that my wife had to make my stamp with. Gently press it into place without smashing out the details. There's the stamp. I then, in the past, took a piece of heavy gauge wire and some needle nose and I bent my initials and this is what I use to stamp my initials and the numbers into the pieces. Very easy to make. While that's drying, I'm working on the laces. I went with a medium brown and some Dijon to give it a lighter look and stands out really well against that darker brown. Leather lacing is almost always a lighter color than the rest of the piece anyway. I went with more of a bronze color as opposed to gold for painting the rivets, all the badging, on this piece because regular Vegas gold that I had was just too dull and, and uh, I wanted something that really pop. And that's what we got so far. It's really coming together nicely. I went with an old watch band to cover the bottle around the top of the neck there as opposed to just a piece of rope or something just to give it a little splash of color. Now we're going to work on the cap. I took another homemade stamp where I pressed a piece of chain in there. And now I filled that in with clay, smoothed it off with some water, and I find that to get these clay pieces out of a mold, you're better off to flip it over and roll it out like that. Keep in mind that's very delicate and if it breaks while you're putting it on, it's real easy to fix. Put the chain around the cap after Mod Podge it, of course. After that set up, that's what you're left with. I might podge the top of it and I made a little clay button to go on top. Press it into place. Took a razor blade, traced around the edge, peeled off the excess and massage that into place with plenty of water. And then I pressed JC into the top of that for Johnny Cash. After it set up and dried, I painted the whole thing black like I always do. And then we're gonna put some paint on this. I spun this cap onto a different bottle so that I could work that paint onto that cap hands-free. That way I can just roll that bottle around and, and catch every bit of that cap where I want the bronze color to be without trying to hold it and do that at the same time. Now that that's painted, we'll set that to the side and let it dry.
Once it dried, I also mixed up um, some green and light blue and made like a tarnished copper look and just added a few dry brush smears of that around where the badging is, where the lacing is, and on the front sight glass just to make it look like it was old. Turned out really nice. And I painstakingly masked off the glass for the sight window because we're getting ready to shoot some clear coat on this. I'll put a couple of coats. This is what I purpose, uh, personally use. I didn't film painting the uh, clear coat on because I had to do it outdoors and once you're done you take a razor blade after all this is dry and clean the glass off and then this is the finished product it turned out magnificent in my opinion I mean I was very pleased. You can see the rippling in the clay. It looks just like it's got a piece of leather wrapped around there. I was very pleased with how this turned out. Here's some of my recent projects, different pieces. Anything is possible when it comes to clay, cardboard, and glue. Well, that's a wrap on this one, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some enjoyment and some knowledge out of the content that I put into it. I fully understand that this YouTube site is out of the norm. I mean, I'm, I know I'm all over the map. I just have a broad spectrum of interests and multiple hobbies and I get that I mean this could potentially hurt the growth of my channel in some ways but I'm a big believer in trying to leave the, the world a better place once you're gone than it was when you got here and if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave them below sometimes I don't really have an idea of what of what uh, my subscribers want to see and I'm very interested in that. Um, anything that interests you that you'd like to see me try a video on, I'll be the guinea pig and see if I can make it work or not. Other than that, um, you're going to see a broad variety of videos on this channel because I'm always into something new. And um, I've been getting a lot of questions here lately on through email about my music. Um, I don't care if you want to learn how to play guitar and you want me to do a quick video on that that's great um, I don't know I need your help I need your help in knowing what's what you want to see because I'm all about trying to keep my subscribers happy I want to give a big shout out to those of you that are my subscribers I've got like 2590 something subscribers I'd like to see that grow even bigger if you like what you see, I wish you'd pass that on along to uh, folks that you know and, and help me grow. I love doing this. I love teaching people, and I want to continue doing that. Anyway, I love you guys, and until the next one, this is Shaw for Oklahoma, signing out.